This program was brought to you by Waste Management of North County and Oceanside, who are dedicated to serving customers and community as a safe, comprehensive service provider, a good corporate citizen, and a responsible environmental steward. Think green, think waste management. The following program does not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, or policies of the City of Oceanside, its elected officials, KOCT, its board of directors, or staff. Hi, I'm Elaine Swan, and you are watching my farewell episode as host of KOCT's Oceanside Spectrum. For 10 amazing years, I've had the pleasure to serve this North County community as your host of Oceanside Spectrum. And joining me on this special edition is a spectacular lineup of guests and an equally amazing studio audience. <laughs> They are gracing us with their presence right here on the KOCT soundstage. Now, although I am leaving, as they say in theater, the show must go on, and Oceanside Spectrum will continue in its journey without me. With that said, I'd like to introduce the wonderful lineup of guests who are joining me on my farewell episode as your host. First of all, we have Main Street Oceanside here to talk about all of the holiday happenings going on in Oceanside. The Oceanside Theater Company will also be on our program to tell you about what's to be expected during this year's theater season. The North County Derby Alliance will be here to talk about roller derby and how you can become involved. And last, but certainly not least, we have KOCT's new executive director, Carly Starr. She's going to share some of the exciting things happening right here at KOCT. Because get ready, get ready, get ready. Oceanside Spectrum starts now. Hi there. Hi there. Welcome to our last show of the year. It's the holiday season and we're so glad to have with us from Main Street Oceanside, Kathy Nichol. Welcome to the show, Kathy. Thanks, Elaine. So glad to have you here. And you, you got the memo. We got the festive holiday memo, we right? We do. Yes, absolutely. And I, I mean, think our earrings are matching. Got the too, attire. Right? Yeah. Oh, you're looking very fabulous again, <laughs> as always. Well, you always bring good tidings to us. I so do. tell us what we have got in store for the city of Oceanside this year. So last week we started our holiday markets right after Thanksgiving and they'll go all the way through December. And then of course the very first week is a lot of activity. We have our menorah that will be lit at Regal Theater on Wednesday the 5th. And that's something new, right? This, we haven't done that before, We've correct? done it at City Hall, but we decided this year um, the city has decided to move everything to one location so it can be seen at all times. So oh. on the 5th at 6 p.m. they'll light the menorah there with activities for family and children. And it's a very nice ceremony, big, huge menorah that's yeah. lit. And then the very next day, in conjunction with the market, we do our annual tree lighting, yes. which is, again, another fabulous activity for family. Now, is Santa going to be there again this year? On the fire engine, as always, oh, comes Santa. Good, good. And we do our countdown to light the tree. We're going to have activities. We're going to close down Mission between Coast Highway and Cleveland and have activities all evening with jump houses, our zip line. It's just a great activity. And then also held in conjunction with the Sunset Market and, where and we do our know, holiday market. Right, and so let folks know about the holiday market because it varies, it varies a little bit based upon uh, the time of year. So tell us about the holiday market. So the holiday market, so my motto for the holidays, I hate to go shopping. Okay. Well, it's a love-hate relationship, so yeah. let's go back. But why go to the mall? The market has it all. If you don't want to cook, if you're tired of cooking, mm -hmm. come to the market. If you don't want to cook that night, come to the market. Right. If you want to bring home food, great place to pick up anything, either hot, prepackaged, desserts, your sauces. And then, of course, if you have no idea what to get somebody for the holidays, for a birthday, for Christmas, this is the place to come. We have 
a hundred retail wow. commercial. We have nonprofits that talk about what they're doing during the holidays to give back. And then of course, over a hundred hot food prepackaged. It's just fun. Phenomenal. And, and to make all of this happen, of course, you need, you need help. You need, you need some hands on deck to help. Is that correct? We always <laughs> do. We always do. And remember, the special guest that is at the tree lighting mm -hmm. will also be there for the next two Thursdays oh, at the market. Oh, that's good. He always promises me that he's going to come. And okay. this year, as he did last year, he's bringing Mrs. Claus too. Oh. So come and take your picture. Yeah. Yeah, right good. by the information booth. Now, to, for volunteers who are interested in helping out in any way, form, or fashion, whether it is with the Sunset Market or even with the tree lighting or what have you, how do people get in contact with you if they want to volunteer? Well, they can contact me at Main Street, Kathy Nichol. Um, there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, just call our office or go through the website or email me at sunsetmarket at packbell.net. And p folks really need to know that this is not the only time of year that Main Street Oceanside gets gets in and make sure that uh, we're having a great time right here in our city. So Correct. what are some of the other things throughout the year you all do? Well, we also, I forgot a few things that we, we're still doing in December. Oh, okay. Tell me what you do. We in December. have a holiday decorating ah. contest that we started last year to get the businesses excited and make sure that everybody is having in that holiday happy spirit. Yeah. So um, the city is working with visit Oceanside and the Chamber and Main Street to do a holiday decorating contest so that it looks nice and festive. We also do a passport program to promote our shop local, um, shop small business downtown Oceanside that will go all the way through most of December. And there is uh, the, the Harbor does their Parade of Lights. Yes. The second Saturday of the month. Um, Heritage Park has activities out there. There right. are so many activities. There is. I cannot list them You cannot them list all. them. You know what? And so they're on your website. <laughs> so yes, people want they to are. visit the website and get more details. Main Street Oceanside. Perfect. Com. Thank you so much, Kathy. It was a pleasure having you on. So glad oh to have you gosh. on the show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. From the beginning <laughs> until now. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done. You and KOCT and Spectrum. Thanks for spreading the word about everything we do. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Hugs and kisses. That's to right. you. Hugs and kisses to the folks at Main Street Oceanside. Make sure you visit their website so you can take a look at what's happening right here in the city of Oceanside during the month of December. We'll be right back. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello, Elaine Swan. Congratulations on 10 wonderful years at Oceanside Spectrum. I know God has so many great things in stores for you in your next chapter. I look forward to see what he is doing for you in your life, but congratulations and thank you for being such, a, such an inspiration person. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Gill and I want to say thank you for everything you've done, everything you do in 10 years. You're a really good example for everybody and people like you makes a difference. So thank you for being you. Cheers, cheers, Elaine, it's been 10 years. North County is so blessed to have had you these last 10 years and we know that you're still around our area so we'll be seeing you. Just wanna say thank you for everything you've done for North County and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon and best of luck in all your future endeavors. We're rooting for you, girl. All right, take care, bye-bye. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Welcome back. Well, we are here right now with Ted Lyde, 
from the Oceanside Theater Company and also from the board of directors from the Oceanside Theater Company is Bridget Young. Welcome to the show. Glad Thank to you. have you here. Thank you. Great to so be here. So glad. So glad we're getting into our holiday season yes. now. And this is always so great. It's such a great time of year and there's so many great productions that coincide with the holiday season. So what's what's in the lineup this year, Ted? This year we are doing a the Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. We're doing oh. it as a radio play. Oh. So it'll be as if the audience has stepped into the radio studio mm -hmm. and they get to see the performers performing and then we'll also have some visuals, some graphics that will help support the story. Oh. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The last two years we did Miracle on 34th Street in yes. a similar style uh -huh. and now we're going to we're going to shift gears a little bit and do uh, tackle the great Charles Dickens classic. Oh, which is such a classic. Yeah. And, and you know, it's it's not Christmas unless we, we see it, hear it, somehow feel it somehow, Absolutely. Right? <laughs> which is great. And so there were the Oceanside Theater Company is really starting to branch out and really get involved in the community. Absolutely. So tell us a, a little bit about what you all are doing. Well, we are doing a ton to engage all the other arts organizations in the community. Um, we just partnered with the Oceanside Museum of Art and um, co-produced a production, Red, which was about an artist, Mark Rothko, mm -hmm. and their art was brought into our library, and we did this whole collaboration with them, and we're just collaborating with every, every one of the different arts organizations. The next thing up that we will do is we will be doing the Christmas tree lighting oh. on the Spring Hill, and we'll do that in a collaboration with the Art Walk, the Friday Night Art Walk. Oh, so we're good. really, our vision is to engage the community and um, just kind of become one whole um, cohesive yes. unit. Yes, yeah, yeah. it well, really a is. Great it, time of year to start, you know, to really, I mean, of course you didn't just get started. Right. Because there's a whole plan <laughs> behind it, but it's a great time of year to really just display display this. And So there, there are a few other productions that are coming up as well. Yes, right? Christmas Carol is the second show in our season. Okay. Uh, back in October, we did Death Trap as the opening show. And then our next show will be Dancing Lessons, mm. which we do as a co-production, another co collaborative uh, effort that we work with uh, Scripps Ranch Theater down okay. in San Diego. And we'll okay. do the show, we'll produce it, co-production with both theaters, and then bring it from Scripps Ranch after their five-week run over to Oceanside to the Brooks oh. for a three-week run with the same sets, the same actors, the same everything. Wow, so um, we scored on that one. Yes, then. we did. We did it last year to great success with a show called Outside Mullinger, and yeah. this is the second year that we've been, had this collaboration with Scripps Ranch. Perfect, very good. And I'd be remiss if I didn't plug their current show because it's terrific. It's called She Loves Me. It's a <laughs> oh. musical that's going on up yeah. until uh, December 16th okay, down there, good. so if anybody wants to check that out, Outstanding. Bridget, you just had a, there was a gala that just took place too. Yeah, we're talking. having a ton of fun. Oh, wow. Um, we just had our first annual ga gala, and what we did was we did an intimate dinner on the stage. So we brought our patrons and our donors and people from oh. the community and put tables on the stage, our entertainment on the stage, and it was absolutely wonderful. Wow. So, yeah, good Some thing. great and entertainment. Some yeah, great, great singers mm -hmm. and a comedian from Los Angeles that oh, came wow. down. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, and the basis and the heart of that gala it was we released a feasibility study um, on the Brooks, the historic theater, because we are tasked with um, basically restoring that historic space. Okay. That's, that's our next that's act. It's a we great space. It's it beautiful, is. and we don't have enough bathroom step, uh, s bathrooms, so that's our number one mm -hmm. uh, phase one, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so we brought everybody in to release those plans and raise money um, and start the capital improvements on the building. So. And, so, and get some folks on, on board with that too, we, right? Yes, yeah. we're very <laughs> busy we, doing we, that. We raised a little bit of money that night, yeah. which yeah. is really nice because it was our first gala. We intend to do it every ah. year, but that was our first effort and there was a lot of things that we had to learn, some growing pains, but okay. I think we pulled it off very nicely and we, we are only intend to make it bigger and better next yeah. year. For folks who are really just interested, because the, the theater has been part of this community f for so long. 1936, and it's so great to see. I yeah. Think. Yeah. yeah, And it's so great to see it, it, it alive and see productions happening and, and you know, there's movement and so mm -hmm. forth. So for the individuals who are out there and saying, you know what, I really want to get involved, what do they need to do? Well, there's a call lot of me. ways to get involved. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Donate. For the technical <laughs> side, I would call Ted, mm -hmm. um, but for the, for the you know, board raising and fundraising and yeah. community side, then I would be a good contact for that. And okay. we are in fact Absolutely. seeking additional board members. Oh, the yes. board good. has, uh, we've had a couple people that have been with the board for uh, six, seven years that okay. have moved on in the last few months. And uh, we're always seeking talented, eager, motivated people who have some time. Yes. Because it is a working board. It is, okay. And, well, and want to get back to the arts, because it really yeah. is, 
it's special. The space is special. What we're doing in the community is really, it's worth it. So. We should probably mention our youth outreach program oh, at youth that's right, yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah, so one of the things that we do to give back to the community is we do a youth outreach and we partner with the Oceanside um, Middle Schools in the school district. They've omitted all the funding for arts. And Which is why you all are here now. So yes, so what we do is them. we actually pay for and bring a full nine-week program to the schools where they're, you know, they have the after-school program and it mounts in a full tech week mm -hmm. where they bust them in on our stage and then it, it ends in a full-scale production. And there you have it. Obviously. Well, you know what? It's so, so great that this is what you're doing for the youth yes. and for the community, revitalizing the theater that's there. So thank you mm -hmm. so much for everything you're doing. And we're so excited about this holiday season. Thank, thank you. you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Please us. come back again. Make Absolutely. sure you check out the website so that way you can go. find out about all of the productions that are happening right here at the Oceanside Theater Company. And if you're interested in their youth program, make sure you check, check out that information as well. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gerald Hampton. I'm the vice chairperson of the board of directors for KLCT. And this message uh, has two parts. First, to Elaine Swan, you know, this is a bittersweet moment. It's bittersweet because I've watched you, I've been a fan since before you even came to KLCT, whether you know it or not. I remember that radio show you used to do back in Carlsbad, but Having come to KLCT and as the uh, chairperson of the board, you know, I can say that you've taken us to a whole different level with Oceanside Spectrum. So thank you for that. We will sorely and dearly miss you. But I want to also say that I thoroughly am just grateful for all you've done and a hearty congratulations to you for all that the future holds. Your star is shining bright and you know, there's bigger and better things ahead for you. Now, to everyone else, I just want to say, KLCT and this show, Oceanside Spectrum, will continue. We are aspiring to do great things. So keep your channels locked in to us. We're going to take it to the next level, and we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thank you. I'm wishing Elaine Swan congratulations for a beautiful 10 years to a beautiful lady for KOCT service to the community of Oceanside and North County. We love you, Elaine, and we wish you the best in your future career. Use motor oil or cocktail or toxin. Dispose carefully, you've got lots of options. Never the trash, the drain, or the ground. That's insane and it ain't safe and sound. Oceanside is a zero waste city. 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 Recycle used oil and filters at certified collection points in Oceanside. For locations, see greenoceanside.org. <laughs> I'm here with some tough chicks. One of them is Sweet Cyanide and Spunky Bruise Her. They are from the North County Derby Alliance. Welcome, but don't hurt me, but welcome to the show, ladies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us today. Funny, you brought yes. some bruises hey, with you. <laughs> it just happens. I can't help it. That's all right. Welcome to the show, ladies. So excited to have you all here. And we were just chit chatting a little bit. And uh, so first of all, Folks probably didn't even know that we had a Derby Alliance right here in North County. So first of all, tell people what it is and what you all do and how much fun you have on the track. Oh, we have so much fun on the track. So we are an all women's nonprofit roller derby team. We are recreational, not professional. Okay. So we go out to have fun, but we do work hard, practicing twice a week, having games once a month. Um, we love to support our community. We have a junior team, which is a fun group of women who want to get away and have fun and just play on our roller skates, <laughs> hitting each other every once in a while. That, that's, that's the fun part of it, right? That's, a, that's the fun part of it. So with that, you know, how, how long have you all been involved with the organization itself? How long? We've been about the same time, almost about four years now. We mm -hmm. started together. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. Yep, right here in um, Oceanside, and now we're in Carlsbad area. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So, all right, so 
how can a person get involved if they do want to get because I mean this 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 is tough, but it's cute. It, it is, but it's it's interesting the walks of life that we have. We have everything from kindergarten teachers to really? stay at home moms to extreme professional like science people. Just anything anything you want, you can show up and we will actually teach you everything. You don't have to worry about, oh, I don't have any roller skating skills. Um, we have a full um, fresh meat program. <laughs> we will put you through a six week program and just teach you every technique that you need to know and get you ready to get out there and have a good time with the rest of us. Now, do you have a season where it's seasonal or is this something that's all year long? So my husband says it's all year long because we never <laughs> stop. <laughs> we take one month off in December. Oh, wow. Otherwise, we are practicing and playing all year long. We do lots of fun scrimmages. We do real games between us and other leagues. We practice all the time. And, and well, speaking of practice, one thing that's really super important for you all right now is you're looking for another location. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Our current location is being demolished and rebuilt on. So our home track is, we're losing it. We are asking the community if they can help us find a 6,000 to 8,000 square foot piece of ground, essentially. Concrete, hopefully. Mm. We would love to partner with a brewery or any other kind of business who would let us practice Monday and Wednesday nights from 6 to 8 and then have one game a year. Mm -hmm. We are nonprofit, so that helps sometimes, or we love to pay dues. We'll, we'll rent from them. But yeah, we're looking for flat track space, call warehouses, oh. some nice concrete. Yeah. Um, we could parking do lots. a parking lot. Yeah. Okay. We can make anything work. Okay, okay, good. It's that important. It's that important. Yeah. So, it's, it, so it doesn't have to be indoor. It, has, it can be outdoor as well. Yes. Oh, we enjoy the outdoor. Oh, yeah. okay. San Diego. <laughs> We're That's always outdoors. Percent. And you just get... Oh, uh, you know, a little road rash is are a little bit easier, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're all padded up, so we're, we're safe. Which is a good thing. And lastly, you all uh, helped out with the Carlsbad Marathon as well, right? Yes. yes. We love um, doing volunteer events. Yeah. That's so good. We were at the we weren't at the finish line. But we were halfway back, handing out snack bags, cheering. Next year, they said, "Come all the way up to the finish line." You guys were so loud, we could hear you all the way around the corner. And oh, we want you up front. Oh, that's good. So we're looking forward to going back. Which is good. I mean, it's great for not only it's it's good that you all are doing what you're doing, but then also being seen about out and about in the community and, and helping out too, which is really great. Yeah, we support the Women's Resource Center a lot too. We we do school drives and donation drives for the Women's Resource Center. So it, let's say, for example, you, you do get some fresh meat, okay? Yes. <laughs> Miss Elaine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> There's no age limit I don't or requirement. Break a nail. I we want got push 20 me. to 60, roll them out. <laughs> I like to keep to my quaff done, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll come and cheer on the side, right? But let's say, for example, somebody says, you know what? I'm, I'm game for this. I need to get some aggression out or what have you. How do they get involved? What, what do they need to do? Just call, show up. Um, when we have our practices, we always have drop-in available. We have gear that people can borrow. Oh. They can try it right then, um, ask a thousand questions. It's really just getting out there and trying it and not worry about it because we don't have a lot of stigma really with our team because we're a lot of like easygoing people. Um, just ask the question, come out. We're there two nights a week and you know we're out there for our games. We just had a game here at Martin Luther King Jr. Park this weekend with our friend scrimmage. It was great. Um, it, it just get out there. Now, do you all travel? And do you travel to different, different cities to compete as well? We stay mostly in Orange County, Riverside County, and San Diego, but okay. we have gone as far as Sonora, way up north. Wow. And a few of us have traveled to Arizona. We have a roller derby convention in Las Vegas once oh. a year. So the whole team goes to that and we play there. Oh, that's good. But if you find us on Facebook, you can Follow us around, find find our whereabouts, what we're doing, join the team. I mean, we're always looking for men, too, to ref our games, and we have juniors as well. Oh, that's good. And then you said little ones, too, right? That, yes. Those are the juniors. Mm -hmm. okay. They're so cute. Oh. The juniors, our junior team is almost as big as our regular team now. It's that's very, good. very popular, and the kids love it. Oh, perfect. That's good. Well, perfect. All right. So, ladies, we're gonna we we're gonna make sure we're gonna say next year you all are gonna be in a brand new location because everyone's gonna hear about this. Make sure you contact the folks at the North County Derby Alliance. They're looking for a spot, so make sure you help them out. Check out their Facebook page or their website. We're gonna take a quick break, and then we'll be right back. Yay! 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 <laughs> Hi, 
I'm Kelly Davis, and I just want to wish you, Elaine Swan, the very, very, very best. And wherever you go on in your future endeavors, I know you're going to be amazing. You are a fabulous woman of God and a, a wonderful wife, mother. And I just want to say it has been a absolute joy and pleasure working with you, you beautiful woman, you. So although you're leaving here, I know you're going on to amazing things. And I just want to say thank you for your time and your time. Hey, congratulations, Lane, on your 10th year. I finally got in the last year I worked with you, and let me tell you something, I am so proud, Elaine. I am so proud of the things that you have done and what I've seen you do here, and I'm looking forward to working with you probably in the future, doing wherever it is you're going to be and being wherever you are. I pray for your continued success in what you do, and God bless you in all your future endeavors. Thank you so much for your 10 years, and hope to see you after your next 10, if we can talk about something else again. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Peace. I just want to say um, congratulations to my wife, Elaine Swan. Oh, this has been an awesome journey. I was inspired. I know you were inspired, but um, I just want to tell you that I love you. All the hard work that you did, um, what, over 700 interviews. That's awesome to know that. Keep it up, baby. I'm in your corner. I got your back. I am the rock. And Hey, you the rock. Oh, he's the rock, too. And um, Colton is the rock. And I just want to say I love you and an awesome job. Keep it up. Thank you. We need a claim number? When I started taking care of mom, I didn't realize the challenge of playing so many roles. But above all, I'm still her daughter. Visit aarp.org caregiving. We're here to help. Hi, welcome back. Well, we are here now with our final guest of my farewell show, the brand new, nice and shiny executive director of KOCT, Miss Carly Starr. Welcome to the show, Carly. Thank you. Thanks for having <laughs> so, me. Thank you for being in the hot seat, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you'll do this a few more times over I'm the sure. years. Yeah, because I had to put Tom here a few times. But yeah, well, welcome. I'm glad it's you that's yeah. uh, breaking me in. Yeah, I yeah. know. We're, we're, we're like two ships kind of passing in the night I know. now. You know, I know. I'm. I'm I'm going on and you're coming on board, but what yes. a difference. I mean, yeah. we've met before, you've been a guest on the show before yes. and you're no stranger to KOCT. Right. In fact, this is really a full circle moment for you. Really, it is. truly. It and is. so you have to tell us this, you have to let folks kind of know where you've come from. Well, I started at KOCT in 1987 yeah. and um, I started as an intern and then I worked my way up to uh, camera and producing, directing, and writing. And then I went on to some of the networks here in San Diego and then curted off to LA for, you know, to live the dream, I yeah, guess. Yeah. And then um, I came back here and I started Love Machine Films, which we've been around for about 15 years. And when this opened up, it just seemed like a perfect circle, just yeah. like you said it. It's, yeah. it's very exciting to be back here and, and try to bring it back to it's being the voice of North County. Yeah, you know? yeah, which is so, so good. And you're bringing back just a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of experience. Oh, well. I mean, you've seen, you've seen a lot, you know, <laughs> yeah. and heard a lot, but you're bringing yeah. it to, you're bringing it to the table, yeah. which I think is, we're only going to yeah. be better for it. Well, I think KOCT is one of those hidden jewels, you know. Uh, there's not many stations like us. Right. There really isn't. And it's amazing that We've had the support of the city and its citizens and the community and amazing people walk in and out of here, such yourself. And, and I just think that it's time to open up the doors and invite people back in. And because uh, everyone can benefit from this. Which is true. So with that being said, tell me about some of the things you have planned now that you're at the, at the helm. <laughs> I know you're looking out and you're saying, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Right. <laughs> have you given it a little thought? Of course you've given a lot of thought, but right. anything in particular stand out? Well, um, I think it's important for us to start reaching out to the community again mm. and going out in the community in our little fancy truck. Yes. I hopefully we'll see the live streaming KOCT truck out in North County so we can cover stories that need to be heard. You yeah, know? because we're, Oceanside is growing so much. It There's is. There's so much going on. There's a whether, lot. You know, between all of the businesses that mm -hmm. are going, that, that are popping up and, you know, just so much. There's a lot. So right. people need to see. Nonprofits are, are just important, you know. 
um, sometimes this is a perfect avenue for people to learn where they can volunteer or get involved or if they need help, you know, and I think that's part of our mission statement. And uh, it's going to be fun to reach out to the colleges and the high schools and get people in here and learning and being that first opportunity mm -hmm. for people in the industry trying to get out there. Right, um, because this is what you were saying when, mm -hmm. when we were chatting. You were talking about how the right. instructor, it felt like internships were really, really important. And, mm -hmm. and so it seems like you're kind of carrying that same mindset. Right. When I was in college, you know, they said, hey, intern. And a lot of people, it's a dying art form, really. But now it's making a surge back, and we're getting a lot of, you know, inquiries about it, which I feel is important. You know, how you learn, who you learn from, and then to pass it on is just a really important thing. I mean, that's part of why we're here. I'm really excited to bring in the city and a lot that's going on to update, you know, our city activities and our calendars. Um, it, it's going to be fun to you know, get North County Roundtable, mm. keep going. Yeah. Um, and, uh, wow, there's so much. There's so much, I know. We only <laughs> have five minutes so, to talk uh, about it. There's so much. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay, with your journey, because, you know, every journey, that, and this is just part of the journey, mm -hmm. is there any anything in particular that you really feel uh, that you experienced uh, throughout your journey, kind of your full circle journey, that you're really excited about bringing to KOCT right now? It's interesting because most of my career was Hollywood. You know, ah. I worked on the pretty much the biggest movies on the planet. And then I came home and I grounded myself and I immersed myself where love conquers all. And I really picked up that torch to help people who need a voice. Mm. And I think the two together is going to make it an amazing type of, you know, igniting a flame over here because I want to cover the professional aspect, but I also want KOCT to be the true voice of North County. Awesome, yeah, very good. I really do. Well, I am so thrilled that you are here and we'll definitely stay connected. Right. And I, uh, like I said, we're two ships passing in the night, but. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, oh, yes. We thought wow. it would be nice to give you a little, oh, just a little something for wow. you to keep with us all the time. Yeah. In your, in your new office or your home yeah, office and yeah it'd be lovely for you to always have us with you i i will always have you all with me 10 years I mean, wow this yeah, is amazing this been, is a great surprise it's just been a pleasure to just watch you and and people truly love you and it's been a it's been an honor it's been an honor for Thank us you. to be your home. Thank I, you. I really mean that. It has been, it really has been an honor to serve. Yeah. This, this yeah. has, has uh, been my home for the last 10 years yeah. and it's just been amazing to come into this place and, and work with all the individuals who really care about not just what the station has to offer, but also, you know, our community and to see, right. you know, volunteers come in and, 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 and be so on fire right. for something so great. And, and I am so, so pleased to be part of this yes. rich history. And thanks for staying with us and thanks for igniting so many possibilities here for other people to see that you can do dreams do come true they do <laughs> thank you yeah. thank you here's look at this here this is so nice uh, i'm excited wow thank you all yeah. so much thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you it has been an absolute pleasure to serve as your host of oceanside spectrum right here on koct I'll be gone, but never forgotten. And you'll see me pop in every once in a while. But I just want to say thank you to all of the viewers, all of my friends, all of my, 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 the, all of the watchers. I thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And this is just the next step of the way. So farewell for now, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your host. I'm Elaine Swan, the host of Oceanside Spectrum. We'll see you soon. <laughs>。Welcome to Oceanside Spectrum. I'm your host Elaine Swan. The holiday season is in full swing. We have a great lineup for today's show. So get ready. So get ready. So take a moment. So take a moment. So take a moment and get caught up with what's happening right here in North County because Oceanside Spectrum starts now. 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 Now.
Hi, my name is Elaine Swan and I am the new host of Oceanside Spectrum and boy have we got a lot in store for you. This is my second show as your new host and they actually invited me back so I think we're on a good track here. All that and much more on our next edition of, come on guys. Oceanside Spectrum. All right, good job. Okay. Five, four, three. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so back. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you know I'm going to cut this up and make it fancy and have sure, a little drop shoulder. Sure, make a V-neck. <laughs> sure, a little flash dance. <laughs> he wasn't able to reset it that fast. He was like, five, four. <laughs> Yay! Okay. We're done, we're going home. As I embark on this next journey with my career in television, ending it here at KOCT, but moving on to the next season, there's one individual in my life that started on this journey with me, but she's not here any longer, and that is of my mother, Betty Jean Lee. She has been my support from day one. Every single thing I was involved with, she was always there. And even though we lost her in 2017, I know that she is still here with me today. My mom is my heart. She is my everything. She is my rock and I thank her. She's not here to see this moment, but I know she, she still lives within me. And so I'm so thankful for everything my mother has done for me, with me, and I love her from the bottom of my heart. And although she's not here right now, I know that she left and somehow sent some sort of word to make sure that I made it. So I get to say now, Mom, I made it. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for everything you've done for me. This, my career, my life, my everything, is dedicated to you.